Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Oh. It's an interesting group of people your friends are. Oh, I know. It's like the cast of a Fellini movie. They're such fun. They're such wonderful people. And Helen is really a good friend. She's a very mm -hmm. brilliant woman, you know. She's she? really a genius. Mm -hmm. I met her through my ex-husband, Jeremiah. Yeah, how come you guys got divorced? I, I, that's something I never... Well, I don't understand. What do you mean, how come we got divorced? Uh, what kind of a question is that? I hardly even know you at all. No, you don't have to tell me if you don't. I'm just curious. Oh, just well, I, we had a lot of problems. We fought a lot, and I, I was tired of submerging my identity to a very brilliant, dominating man. Mm -hmm. He's a genius. Well, he was a genius, and Helen's a genius, and Dennis is a genius. You know, a lot of geniuses, you know? You should meet some stupid people once in a while. You know, you can learn something. Well, okay, well, tell me, why did you get a divorce? Why? I got a divorce because my ex-wife left me for another woman. Okay? Really? Mm-hmm. God, that must have been really demoralizing. Well, I don't know. I thought I took it rather well under the circumstances. Oh, I tried to run them both over with a car. I can imagine. I mean, that's incredible sexual humiliation. It's well, enough to turn you off of women, and I think yeah. it accounts for the little girl. Hey, the little girl is fine. Jesus, she's what's with, what's with the little girl? Oh, sure, I understand. Believe me, 16 years old, no possible threat at all. Uh-huh, she's 17, she's gonna be eight. You know, sometimes you have a, a losing personality, Mary. Hey, I'm honest, what do you want? I say what's on my mind, and if you can't take it, well, then fuck off. And I like the way you express yourself, too, you know? It's pithy at degenerate. You get many dates? I don't well, think so. I do, I actually know it. I, you'll never believe this, but I never thought I was very pretty. Oh, what is pretty anyway? I mean, I hate being pretty. It's all so subjective anyway. Yeah? I mean, the brightest men just drop dead in front of a beautiful face. And the minute you climb into the sack and do the least they're giving, they're so grateful. Yeah, I know I am, you know. Do you have any kids or anything like Me, that? Yeah, I got a kid. He's really? being raised by two women at the moment. Oh, well, you know, I mean, I think that works. Uh, they made some studies. I read in one of the psychoanalytic quarterlies. You don't need a male. I mean, two mothers are absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. fine. Because I always feel very few people survive one mother. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, I got to get my dog. Uh, you want to wait? I got to walk it. Or you're, you're in a rush or something oh, like no. that. No, sure you are. What kind of dog you got? <laughs> the worst. Yeah. It's a dachshund. You know, yeah. I mean, it's a penis substitute for me. Oh, I would have thought yeah. that in your case, a great thing. <laughs> I guess I should straighten my life out, huh? I mean, Donnie, my analyst, is always telling me. Well, your me. analyst, Donnie? Yeah, I call him Donnie. <laughs> Donnie? You're an analyst? Yeah. I call my Dr. Chomsky. Oh, you know? well. Yeah, either that or he hits me with the ruler. <laughs> Donnie? Anyway, Donnie tells name. me that I get involved in these situations and that it's deliberate, you know? I mean, he's, he's especially with my ex-husband, Jeremiah. You know, I mean, I, I was a student and... Um, really? You married your, your, your yeah. teacher? Yeah, of course. That's very, very... Well, uh, I listen to that. I mean, he failed me and I fell in love with him. It's so oh, that's perfect, perfect, right? Yeah, that's, I know. That is, I mean, I was sleeping with him and he had the nerve to give me an F, so... Really? Yeah, really. No kidding. Not even an incomplete, right? Just a straight <laughs> F? <laughs> you know, you've got a good sense of humor. You hey, actually do. Hey, thanks, thanks. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. You know, no. I've been, yeah, no, I've been making good money off it for years till yeah. I quit my job to write this book, and now uh -huh. I'm very, very nervous oh. about it. You know, but yeah. yeah. Listen, you want to? Oh, you don't have to pay for it, oh, really. Oh, that's okay. No, no, I'm serious. You want to walk by the river? We can. You know what time it is now? What do you mean? Well, if I don't get at least 16 hours, I'm a basket case. Yeah. Really. I'd like to hear about your book. I, I, mean, I, re I really would. You know, I'm, I'm quite a good editor. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, my book is about decaying values. It's about... See, the thing is, years ago, I wrote a short story about my mother called The Castrating Zionist. And um, I want to expand it into a novel. Listen, you know, I could talk about my book all night. so pretty when the light starts to come up. Oh, I know. I love it. Boy, <sighs> this is really a great city. I don't care what anybody says. It's just uh, really a knockout, you know? It's... Well, I think I better head back. I got an appointment with Yale for lunch later on. <laughs> <laughs> 